Vince? Yeah, I, I can see now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, SQL, we have created a uh, our Caesar database tech, uh, Oracle uh, data. So for this, uh, under Oracle, we have created a data server. Data server is nothing but it. We are connecting this uh, ODI with the database. That's one. Under, under the data base, we have several physical schemas and they are connected to particular physical schema that is in the system here. Okay. And for each and every physical schema, there will be one logical schema will be there. That is ODI test and the context will be there. In context, we have dev. So, we have dev. See here, go to schema. See, we find ODI test is the logical schema. And for ODI test logical schema, what is the corresponding physical schema? It is there. We have mentioned here. Okay. Everything in ODI yeah, will store under the, uh, on top of the logical schema only. On top of this logical schema only. Why? Because yesterday we have seen uh, while creating the model folder in the definition also. So here see logical schema. This is ODI test. Okay, on top of logical schema only everything will be there. So this ODI test will be connected to the, the physical schema and it will bring the data. Uh, okay, and uh, here actually suppose. If I have two work repositories in the same uh, under the one master repository, so I am maintaining the test database. I want to connect to the test database. How to connect to the test database? Same thing here in under Oracle. You need to connect to the data server. Okay, and the under physical schema, you need to give it. Okay, Viresh, are you getting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the development. If we, if we have one, one master repository, we have another uh, work repository like test database, test work repository. So same thing, you can create it here for the database. But in uh, here, here you need to maintain a different context like test. I will show why it is test. And the logical architecture, you, need, you can use the same uh, logical architecture. <coughs> the physical schemas are both are the same. Means, uh, if this, this is the database and the physical schema is this one and you will create another data server and another physical schema. The physical schema is same known. It means uh, the data which is in this uh, dev database that should that will be in the test database will be the same. Okay. So no need of creating extra logical schema. This logical schema it will be take care. It means while run in context if you give this ODI test and I will show you how it works. See here, uh, testing process. See here, test database. If you are at runtime, yeah. while running the interface. Yesterday we ran the interface. So the uh, context is C. Uh, we have given dev. Okay. Where is? Yeah, this context is a mandatory kind of thing, right? Uh, ah, this is dev. Oh. Okay, select here oh. dev. What it will point? This is the context, and it will connect to the. Uh, go to a logical test and it will connect to the physical schema and it will bring the data. Okay? Okay. Here uh, it will connect, it will check, uh, it will check these two tables. It will check under the. So, because it will test logical schema, only a test. Okay, here. So, the Model code in the these tables are in under the logical schema for a test. Okay, then we will come to this. Thing. If we create a test, same thing for a test, and uh, you have given that uh, if you create a new database under uh, test database and physical schema, you need to give it here. Okay, okay, at runtime.
if you select a test database, okay, the logical schema it will map to the test database which will run. So yeah, this is the thing it will happen. Logical schema, if you have one database, test database, logical schema is zero. Some it is a OEA underscore sample is the logical schema. By selecting the context, that is uh, context if you dev, it will point to OEA and dev and the database. If you select the context as test, in test also you will mention the logical schema, what is the physical schema. The logical schema will be same across dev, test, production, everything in the same name will be there. But the change will come on the context only. You can use this OEA test here, in test database in OEA test and it will come, you need to give here. Different thing. Okay. Got it now? Any uh, confusion? Uh, no, I am clear. Clear, no? Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Because in real time, uh, definitely you will have one, one, more than one work repository under one master repository. Okay? If you want. In the same from the here only, you can run in the test database. No, no need of moving to anything. Okay? Uh, okay. In dev only, uh, when you connect to the dev, now we are connected to the dev work repository. From here only, if you want to run any interface in the test database, you can run it. Uh, open OEA like this one. Running time. You need to select test, and if you run it, it will run in the test uh, test environment, test work repository. Okay. That is the that is the thing in this uh, topology. Okay. And uh, see here, uh, we have selected one of the schema as a default schema. Okay, so default schema means under this database there may be so many physical schemas. Okay. 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 And we have made this physical schema as default. If we have more than number of physical schemas here, we should make one uh, one physical schema default mandatory. This is mandatory to make one physical schema as a uh, default, okay? Okay. And yesterday uh, we have asked to move data from different schemas. Yes. So first of all, I will show you that. Thing. or database is right here. This one is pointing to system. Okay. Now we need to move point to this one to or a test one. So I am not making this one as a default because I made this one default. You can see small arrow mark is there here. Okay, okay, yeah.
see here on the database on the physical schema on the database it is there. So as I said, for each and every physical schema, there should be logical schema. See here, under this dev context, what is the physical schema should I need to connect? Okay, for a test one. See here, two two things came, uh, two uh, logical schemas. What a test and what a test one. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so here, uh, this is the context. I am in the context. So while running the interface, you are selecting the only the dev context. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that is, uh, there are say two logical schemas and two physical schemas. Okay, if dev, it will automatically takes test takes the uh, tables which are in, there in the particular uh, logical schema and it will map to the physical schema and it will bring the data. Okay. Okay. Based on this thing, how we will identify that thing is, okay. In the designer, in the model folder, if you have a table like EMP, okay. If you run the dev and the interface, which you build, no, it will belong into which model folder? See here, you can see the model ODI source and logical schema is ODI test, okay. When you are running this interface, it will automatically. Dev, it will automatically connect to this logical schema and it will take data from this thing only. Okay, based on the interface, it will take it. Okay, if you have an other interface which is uh, built on ODA test one, so okay, then that will that will uh, take the data from this uh, physical schema only. Clear, no? Yeah, yeah. Any confusion? So, uh, uh, this one? Why two logical schema like uh, in the in the topology? Uh. Okay. For each and every physical schema, there should be a logical schema because this is uh, ODA test one physical schema. Okay. For this one to okay. point out, we need one logical schema separate. This is different. No, this is different okay. physical schema. Okay, okay. Physical schema is different. The, to access the tables, we need to have, uh, see, ODA test is pointing to system, and if they are importing uh, tables in ODA, this is ODA source from ODA test. This is separate, no? Separate things should yeah. be there. Here I am saying. And again, I'm there will be different. Everything will be different, like interface and uh, model Sorry? for this scheme. Sir, uh, Hello? Yeah, uh, no, if we create uh, different physical, physical schema and logical schema, then how about uh, model and interface? So model and we need to get a separate thing. I'm creating. Okay. Okay. Technology, what is the technology or database technology we need to give it here? Logical schema, I'm giving you what a test one, see here. Okay. 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 Reverse engineering, nothing notable, so there I think.
Yeah, this topology is important. Okay. 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 We have two tables in this. Uh, ODI test one, EMP and EMP test, okay? Okay, yeah. Select the reverse engineer, select here, okay, object to reverse engineer, EMP. Okay, if you give EMP percentage, see, all the tables which are there with the EMP will come, okay? Make it reverse engineer. Okay. See here more. Okay, I have created EMP. Uh, you you are dragging EMP in the first uh, box and second EMP test okay. in the second target. target. Okay. This is source and target. Okay, yeah. And I need to go and throw on the target create, select control append. That is our generic knowledge module. So, uh, so you, what all this property we are changing here? Flow control, false. Oh, yeah, yeah. I will explain. It. I will explain. It. Okay. Okay. See here, I'm se selecting the dev context. Okay. Okay. And see here one second. Here also EMP table is there. And our new thing, on our new uh, mapping of the EMP table is there. Okay? Mm -hmm. This one, this one. Okay, it will be confusing. Okay. See, uh, both interfaces having the source as EMP, and uh, we have only one dev context. See? And while running them, I'm selecting dev. So, it will vary. Uh, uh, And find the difference here. In dev, okay. in dev context, this is a dev context. We have two uh, physical schemas. So how it will connect to which physical schema it, it want to connect? How it will identify? Great. Um, Hello. Uh, here you are running the particular interface. It will go and check here. This what is the logical schema it need to be connected. Okay. This one is first interface. What is a sample? 
this one is our first interface. See here, the logical context is ODI test. Okay. This one second interface which you build right now. This is pointing to ODI test one. So mm -hmm. automatically when you run this uh, uh, data dev, it will automatically go to that uh, logical schema and bring from the that physical schema. That's it. Okay. Got it now? Clear. So data is there. Okay. And so that what I want to say in the topology, it is important. Okay. Uh, small question from my side, Iresha. Okay. Uh, if they have asked you when you are into the OA project, if they have asked you to load your data from X to Y, X table from source is X and uh, my target is Y. So uh, what are the questions you will ask to them? What are the questions you need to ask them? Uh, simply from, someone said uh, I need to load data from uh, X table to Y table. So what are the things you need to have in your hand to build that interface and to move the data from X table to Y table? Yeah, for, uh, we, I need to understand where is that X table. So all uh, the, the uh, uh, schema details. First thing is like you need to have the what is the database. Okay. okay. And the second thing is database type. I uh, mean, so it is a oh, which product, Oracle or uh, SQL, MySQL server or something different database. Next thing. Okay. What is the physical schema you need to ask them? Okay. Physical uh, schema means what is the source schema and the uh, uh, target schema. Yeah. This thing you need to ask. And uh, don't ask them uh, where it is, anything else. Go directly to topology. Search there in the, which is the technology Oracle. What is the database? They will show here you will find the database. Okay, go and check this thing. Here you will find the database is XE here, my database. You will ask them what is the database name, you will ask them. So, there will be something in the database name. Okay? You will find it here. And what, under this database, there will be so many physical schemas. Ask you. So, they, they, you will ask the source physical schema, you check, check it here. Okay? All these things, you check it. Got mm -hmm. it now? Clear now? You can yes, do it yes. now? Yes, clear. Yes, thank you. Uh, there is the basic requirement. The, Ah, uh, you know about the source to target, no? S2 to S2 mapping. Sorry, uh, can we come again? Ah, no. uh, S2 to mapping. S2 to mapping will be there. Okay. okay. Uh, I will show you. Uh, they will only provide the what is the source. Uh, Column, what is the, in the test to mapping, there will be source table, target table will be there, and they will give the uh, mentioning uh, what is uh, from uh, this EMP number, what is the source EMP uh, for source uh, column name, or uh, this E name, what is the source column, everything will be there, okay, in the test to okay. mapping. Okay, uh, you need to ask these questions before starting your thing, okay. First of all, you need to ask this S2T mapping. Uh, give me the S2T mappings. So, in the test to mapping, you will have the uh, S2, uh, S means nothing but a source and the T means target. Okay. okay. In this, uh, they will have the source table name EMP, target table name EMP underscore test. Uh, this is the column it should mapping. Mapping uh, column will be there. Everything will be there. Means it will be like this is the thing. It will be there in the Oh. This is the information business logic will be there. Like, okay, this is the column you should map to this target. First of all, you need to ask this S2T and you need to ask what is the database and what is the uh, uh, source schema and the target schema. Okay. 
That's it. Okay. Okay. And they take this and go and check in the topology. You explore it and you can do the mapping, you can start the mapping. Okay. And uh, you check whether the tables are uh, reverse engineered into this particular uh, thing or not. Second thing. Okay. okay. Already model okay. folder is created or not on that particular logical schema. Okay. Yep. Means uh, if the uh, table is in, uh, so if you find that your table is in this physical schema, okay, check for this. What is the go to context dev and check here. Uh, what is oh, this body test? You will find this in physical schema. You will find it. So many will be there. Check this and and go to corresponding logical schema. Okay, check here. Okay, this is the body test. They think this is your body source. And go to designer and check whether ODI that logical schema on that logical schema. We we'll check all the double click all these things and check ODI. Okay, yeah, the, under the, any model folder it is pointing to that logical schema. Okay, okay, yeah. this one you need to manually you need to explore it. This one, or you need to open all these uh, model folders. There may be five to uh, ten or depending upon the project size. Okay, it will open it and check it whether it is pointing to any our uh, uh, ODI test or not. If it is not, then uh, I think you will not have the permission to create a model folder. They will give only one or two members in the team to create this model folder and to reverse engineer the tables. Okay. Clear, no? Yeah. yeah. So I will create another thing which will make two different day. Okay, here only. This is in the EMP test one. Okay, I am moving this one to EMP test. This this color. It's two different schemas here. Okay. This one is under ODA test, and this one is under ODA test one. I am moving data between two schemas. So this is part of the system now. This will be test uh, this target table will be test. Okay, logical schema is part of this system. Okay. In real time, there will be no password for this context. I have created it. Now. See, data is okay. This one runs ran successfully. See, data is moved. Okay. okay. This is in the system schema we are in the. And see here, only uh, no LKM, only IKM is there. Because uh, 
we are in the same database. Okay. So we use a logical schema in two scenarios. One scenario is uh, that is. Source technology is different from target technology. Second thing is uh, if the source database is different from target database. In these two scenarios, the LKM will be coming to picture. Okay, with this? Yes, yes. Clear, no? In so the first... Okay, sir? Uh, if source technology is different means you are telling different database, right? Like, for uh, example... No, not database. Technology like if you file to... Table. Okay. Okay. Some XML format to table. Okay. Then XML will come into picture. Okay. Yeah. This is one of the interesting questions. Yeah. Where which scenarios we use LKM? And what is the difference between generic and non-generic knowledge modules? Great. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference between the generic and non-generic knowledge modules? Generic and non-generic. Uh, generic is uh, if the target uh, technology is anything, okay, you can use it. Means if it is a different technology, anything, any technology, it will support it. Okay, this is a generic knowledge module, SQL control append. Our target is database, Oracle database. Okay. Okay. Target means this EMP test is in the Oracle database. Okay. If it is in the MySQL server or different NetEase or anything, this uh, uh, knowledge module will support it. But there are uh, non-generic knowledge modules means it will come under underscore IKO Oracle control append. Then it will support only the Oracle database. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. You explain. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the interview question they will ask it. What is the difference between? Basic question they will ask what is the difference between generic and non-generic knowledge module? Generic knowledge material it will support any technology. Whatever the technology, whatever the target technology, it will uh, uh, load the data. You put generic, uh, no issue. Non-generic, non-generic means it will come back in MySQL, NetEase, or any they will specify here separately. Yes, yeah. okay. Then that will support only the Oracle database, MySQL. That is the thing here. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to create a package for this thing, okay? Workflow, that means in your uh, information technology, okay? Wh why do we create package? Yeah. To run uh, interfaces in a sequence order, uh, we need uh, this uh, workflow. At runtime, we use uh, this. So through packages and uh, packages we generate a scenario, we will move the scenario to the uh, higher environments. We will not move the interface, we will move the scenario only. And packages, it is series of steps, it will be there. Series of steps, oh. series of steps, it will be there. And series of steps means I will show you when it will be. I am dragging this interface. Okay, first of all. Okay. Okay. And second, I am dragging this interface. I am dragging this to here. 
So if you want to run this first this step, this step, you need a package like this structure, serial of steps if you want to run it. Okay? Okay. okay. Like workflow. So here, see here, icon. This one is the first step, it will show you. So the first step is disabled. Mm -hmm. So this is the first step it will run and this is the second step it will run it. Okay. In package, this is a package. You will have so many these tools. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will explain one by one. To briefly. Later. I'm saving this package. See the operator already. Two things are there. Okay. Now how many it will be there? If I run this uh, package. A package run, okay. And the package C2 interfaces are there. Okay, yeah. See, you, you will find the sessions here. See, you go to sessions. See, this is your interfaces, you will find it here. And the users and the supervisor user. Okay. Under my user, what are the things I ran it? Okay. And real time also, you will have one name variation. So under users, your username will be there, and uh, they can track what are the interfaces you ran it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. And, uh, okay. Find all the executions out of the status done. If any errors are there, it will become another tab will become like error. Okay, you can open and see what are the other things for today's session. Okay, mm -hmm. which are errored out. I have created a package. For package, I need to create a scenario. Scenario is a executable thing, we cannot modify it. Okay. See, for the package I am generating scenario. This is the scenario which you will migrate to test or production. This is the scenario you migrate it. Okay? Okay. So, we can execute the scenario as well as we can package. migrate it. Only scenario we need to migrate, we can migrate it. And we can maybe use it in the production or test engineering. So I have executed that uh, scenario. So the scenario is executed. Okay. Will there be multiple packages under scenario or only one? There may be so many packages under a scenario. No issue. Okay. Packages means you can call a master package and uh, uh, chain package. We will not have packages. We will have the scenarios. No, no, under 
Atikaraski, if they have it, this one is this thing group. Okay. You can call this scenario here. Mm -hmm. This thing. Okay. Not this scenario, if you want to exhibit any other scenario, if you have a different package and uh, if you want to execute that scenario, you can uh, in this uh, scenario, in this package, you can have that uh, scenario. Confused? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, oh, what I was asking. So, can we have a multiple packages in the same scenario? Multiple packages under one scenario. No. For each and every package, there is one scenario should be there. Okay. okay. In this package, this is a package. No. In this package, you can call another scenario. Okay. If we have uh, uh, build another two interfaces and you create another package, after completion of this uh, two, uh, this package, you need to run that package. In that time, you need you can call uh, drag that scenario here. After this time, the scenario will execute. Mm -hmm. This is scenario. We will actually export. We will do it this thing. All this scenario is in the XML format. Okay. okay. So, how to export this? We will do the export. Export to directory. Desktop, I am uploading. Export. Export finish. Okay. This is the scenario. No man, open. So this is the thing which is in the entire interface. It will be there. Mm -hmm. the when we import this, it will it will be only scenario, right? It will not have any anything. Like package and no, no, no. Uh, I will mention uh, the scenario is not completed. Okay, we will explain you all these things. Okay. So, uh, if you generate a scenario and in the test environment there is nothing, we suppose think that there is nothing is there in the test environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you export a scenario and import into the different work repository, it will import all these model folder, what is the source table, target table, variables which, which are in this uh, package, everything will be moved to the that environment. So that is the use of scenario. Okay. In test environment you will have don't have the access to designer. Yes. yes? Yeah. Now that will be why you because we have Execution work repository, not the development work repository. Okay. See, type is what this one is development work repository. We have execution work repository also, two types of work repositories now. Yeah. Yeah. In test and production, there will be uh, execution work repository. In that execution repository, I have showed you, I think, in uh, two days back, this uh, designer will be disabled. So, you, not, you cannot create model folders there, you cannot import uh, tables there, everything, you cannot do it. So, how you will do it is through scenario only. If you move the scenario to the next environment, it will move all the corresponding table, model folders, variables, what are the things is there. In that package, everything will be moved uh, to the that environment and we can run it directly there. Okay, no need of creating demand. No, we cannot import any tables there in test or production. All this scenario will do this thing. Okay. So, how 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 do you import scenario? Yeah, in load plan and scenarios, we select it. Import scenario will be there. 
this is in demo, you know. If you connect it with test also, you will have this load plan and scenario. We will kind of import scenario. That, that's it. I will go to the path and import. That's it. Export import. Okay. That's it. Uh, but Here in test design, and all, this designer will be disabled, right? So in test yeah, environment. So then no, how, how? Operator. So through operator we have to import. Uh, in the operator we need to do it, not in the okay. designer. The operator okay. we need to do. So here, uh, see, uh, while importing time, or uh, these are the four types will be there. Okay. First time you are inserting, made it as insert. Okay. Okay. When you are already there is a scenario and you need to update it, update it. You want to insert update, insert update. You want to make a duplication, you can make the duplication. These are the four modes. Okay. Mm -hmm. By insert be careful or, or what is the import type you are selecting. Okay. Okay. See here in the load plan and scenarios. So it has taken all these variables, nothing it has taken. So it will bring all these things which are there in this thing. Okay. Variables I will show you once I once variables is created. Okay. So Gresh, see here, uses. Go to this uses. Here it is not showing it. So here in uses, uh, we can find where these uh, tables are used. Okay, in which interface, everything. Okay? okay. Uh, in, the, in real time, we want to find out. Uh, where this table, if you want, you are planning to delete this table, okay? Okay. Uh, table is not required, or if you want to change something, okay, you want to rename table or anything, in the users, you can find out there which, in, which interface it is used, everything will be there in under the users. Is it clear, no? Up to creating of interface, packages, okay? And scenario, it is clear, no? Yeah. Okay. Next, I will move to this uh, knowledge module part. Okay. Okay. Next tomorrow, today and tomorrow, we will cover these knowledge modules. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As we have, you know, uh, we have generic and non-generic uh, knowledge modules. We have integration knowledge module, loading knowledge module, check knowledge module, and the reverse engineering, six types. Reverse engineering, uh, we have seen it, okay? Okay. Uh, integration, we have seen it. I will show you the steps, everything. Uh, I will explain in, the, this, in this part. Okay, CKM, I will explain you. CKM, everything, I will explain you okay, in the knowledge module part. See here, this is knowledge module. Everything will be there. Insert new rows. It is. It will insert the new rows. Target transaction. Delete target table. Flow control. Uh, this one will con comes under this uh, check knowledge module. I will explain it in, in, in next five in next two minutes. Okay. So in IKM we are making it as false yeah? and that flow control. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, explain. CKM, that one this CKM. See here options. Insert commit flow control, see cycle static control target, all these options will be here you will find it. Okay. Okay, whatever you want, you can check it out. So I want only insert. I want insert. After insert I want to commit or not make it true or false, you can do it and do it. Okay. 
static control and flow control both will come down to the CPM data quality. So, truncate. Before loading, you need to truncate data or what? Delete all. You need to delete or what? Okay. Create target table means uh, that is, uh, I will explain to you later. This is uh, when creating the temporary table. Okay. General things which we will do in the SQL for inserting, okay. After inserting, you are doing commit, truncate by before loading, you need to truncate or what, delete load, you need to delete and load or what. All these three steps will be there, okay. Yeah, uh, LKM also, you have an idea, no. Yeah, LKM, yeah. If it is multiple different databases and different uh, so source type. CKM. Today we will call CKM and next uh, briefly I will give a five to ten minutes on the CKM. Okay. Tomorrow I will, ex uh, will show you how to implement this one in the uh, interface level. Okay. CKM. Uh, first, uh, what I, when you go to interview, first question: How to, how you will manage the data quality in the ODA at, at, at ODA level? Data quality. That is nothing but a CKM. Check module. See here. Uh, under model, on the model folder, you can mention. Mention. See, so I have taken the EMP table. Under the EMP table, when I go to for this uh, constraints, constraints are there, no? Yeah. This one is the constraints. You can give it, need a key reference. I will show you this one later, new key. This one, now I go for new condition. Okay? Here, you can mention this where condition. In the SQL, you will write in you know, a where uh, this should be that uh, this column should be mapped to that column. This where condition is there. No, that entire mm -hmm. thing you need to here. Okay, we will give it here tomorrow. I will show you how to do that. Take a one one data quality. Okay, we will have static control and flow control on under this thing. Data quality means uh, no duplication should uh, not duplications. Uh, only the correct records it should pass through the uh, final pack. All these things we will do it in the CKM level. In the where condition we will make it. It should be like uh, exist Uh, some EMP uh, where condition is right where the EMP dot EMP uh, number is equal to EMP underscore test dot EMP. So this is the where condition. If this is the satisfied, then only the data should be moved to the target. Mm -hmm. I have an embodied sample in there. So, okay, what is the thing? I have EMP table and the target table is EMP test. Okay. So, I am writing a condition, where condition, where EMP dot EMP number should be equal to EMP test dot EMP number. Okay. Then only the data should move to the EMP test. So, this is condition where I am giving this condition on this table I am giving EMP table. On the target table, uh, on the target table, we need to have this uh, thing. Okay. Yes. Uh, some name you need to give CK. Um, okay. At what level you need to mention this condition? Oracle data integrator condition. Okay. And uh, control. At what is the static control and flow control? Which one we should have? We should have both or uh, only one thing. You need to have it. Okay. 
actually you should be given on the target table not on the EMP in the test EMP test we need to give it okay by loading into that table it will check that condition and the, oh, if the condition is passed then only the records will be inserted into this uh, target table got it no yeah so like a this, is a, this is the syntax uh, for the where class ah, yes, ah, this is the syntax exist okay yeah. Oh. Here are we, not, huh? are we not specifying two tables like select select star no, somewhere? Table itself we are creating. See here. I will show you. So my test target table is EMP test. So on the EMP test only I am selecting now. No need of giving specifying that table. See here. Okay. Yeah. Where means uh, on the table itself we are creating it. No, no need of mentioning the target table here. We are doing at the table level on the table itself on the data store. Technology here is data store. You okay, got it, no? Okay. Yeah. Condition. Means. Uh, uh, you are familiar with this uh, data warehousing concept, no? Data warehousing concepts. Data warehousing concepts. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm aware of that. So, uh, suppose think that you have a source as a file, and data you are moving to some fact staging. Okay. You have a source as file, Vinesh. Uh, and you are moving okay. to some fact, fact staging table, some staging table. Okay? Oh. Oh. And this data which is in the data which is in the staging should match with the uh, width of uh, dimension. Okay? So we are ma um, matching this staging. We have the common thing in the uh, dimension. We have the bits now. Okay, the data which is in the staging table should have the is the entry in this uh, dimension. Table. Then only it is valid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that time, the, in that time scenario, you will use this uh, staging table and you will match with the dimensions here. Okay. When there the data is matching, then only we should go to the test. Table. That time we will use this uh, CK. Okay. Oh. And is, is CK we will define it in the controls. That CK which we define it here now. C CK. Whether we need to check that condition or not, we need to mention it here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. We mention this thing and the flow table you need to enable static control flow control or either static control, which one you want. Okay. Then that condition will at the runtime, it will check that condition and it will load the data. Uh, what is the difference between this flow control and static control? Static control, once it, it will insert the data into the target table and after that it will check the condition. Okay. Suppose in source you have 10 records. Okay. It will be loaded into the target. Yeah. Ten records will be load if we have the source as ten records. Five are error records. Okay? Mm. And uh, this static, what the static control will do? It will load all the 10 records into the target. I 
and after inserting into the target, it will check for this condition and when it will write these five error uh, records into the e dollar table. Flow control. If you have ten records, five are error records. So, before inserting into target. It will check the error records and it will reject the five records and only five records will be inserted into the target. Target. Okay. That's the difference. Not we will do this one on the not on the directly target in real time. We will do on the patch staging. Not the staging table in the staging table. Hmm. Got it now, English. Tomorrow yes, I will explain yes. this. What is this E dollar table and everything? They are, they are briefly tomorrow. Okay. In depth, I will explain this. Okay. Okay. Yes. But like you know, static control and. Uh, this flow. Yeah. Hmm? So in flow control, only five records will be there. Like other five, it will just reject it. So it will not store anything. Right? Okay. In, this, uh, in the staging table. In the static control, first of all it will insert into the staging table 10 records. After inserting, it will check out the error records. It will check the condition. In the flow control, before inserting only it will check that condition. Okay. So, how about yeah. those? Um, it will have 10 records in the target plus 5 more records in the E dollar table, right? The error. Uh, error that means what are the error records which are there in the uh, error doubt? It is oh. checked. If the condition checks, five records will be filed low. And the five records will okay. be moved to the E dollar table just for uh, checking what are the error, error records in this E dollar table. You will find out in the E dollar table. Okay. So in that case, target will have only five records after moving another five error records. While loading into the target, we will again we will check with the dimensions there. Same condition which we are using here in the FS, we will move that one we will use in the final target. Then only five records will move to the target. Okay. Tomorrow I will explain you uh, these things yeah. how it works. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Is clear about today's class? Any? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, we will get tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thanks.